got some snow and we've got some strong winds out there and that combination has led to, of course, winter weather advisory. This is in effect until seven o'clock area wide from Stevenson to Boone to Lee County. So what exactly are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about snow, wind driven snow at that. Accumulations could be as high as two to four inches. Now, admittedly, I think we'll wind up on the lower end of that snowfall total here, but it's the impacts here that I want you to really focus on. Sleet and freezing drizzle will be possible from time to time. Of course, this combination of wintry weather will make for some difficult travel, especially in the snowfall rates of an inch plus per hour. That could lead to some slick roads. I know you've been thinking how warm it's been. How could it possibly get slick or icy? Well, snowfall rates that high could certainly lead to some slushy accumulations on those area roads and uh, a live look with our WREX camera. This is about as impressive of a view as I've seen in, in my two years here. You can see the wind driven snow really flying here across northern and western portions of the state line and visibility is dropping in response to that down to eight tenths of a mile in Freeport, eight tenths of a mile here in Rockford officially down to three tenths of a mile in Rochelle. Keep in mind, dense fog advisories are issued when visibility is under a quarter of a mile. Now we're not talking fog, but we're talking very low visibility. Galena down to two tenths of a mile there. They will be on the back side of the heaviest snow very, very shortly. You can see the snow is wrapping up from the Quad Cities to Waterloo, so we've got a little while to go in some of the heaviest rates to come here. You see the darker blue shading here just to the south and west of Dixon. That is going to be getting into your area, Dixon, in the very not too distant future. So keep that in mind, especially if you are out and about. Now I'm zooming into Rochelle just a few minutes ago. I saw this come through on the National Weather Service's website. They were mentioning some thunder that had or some lightning that had shown up over Rochelle. So don't be surprised to hear a few rumbles this afternoon of some thunder snow. Keep in mind this is a very dynamic system, a lot of lift, a lot of oomph in the atmosphere, and that has produced several instances that I've seen on social media of some lightning and some thunder. So keep that in mind as we go through the afternoon. Again, the heaviest rates are really going to be between now and about four o'clock. Once we get beyond that, we'll start to lighten up some of this activity just a bit. Again, towards the evening hours, we might mix in some sleet, some freezing drizzle, possibly even some just cold, chilly rain from time to time. So not a pleasant evening necessarily to be out and about. We'll hold on to that freezing rain possibility here as we go into the overnight hours. This does have me a little bit concerned for tomorrow morning's commute. Freezing Freezing drizzle is deceptively light, and of course that could lead to a bit of a slick commute for your Tuesday morning. I do think we'll see drier and better weather for tomorrow, just may not see a lot of sunshine. So snow likely for today, again sleet and rain will even possibly mix in from time to time. Tonight the snow tapers off by about 7 or 8 p.m. Freezing drizzle then will be possible here as we go into the overnight hours. Tomorrow, uh, you know, I kept partly cloudy skies in there, but we may have to go mostly cloudy just seeing the recent trends in model data. Let's take a look at your most accurate 10 day forecast. Regardless of whether it's partly cloudy or mostly cloudy, I can tell you visibility and conditions will certainly improve by tomorrow at this time.